Hi guys. Took me a few takes to take this, but um, sometimes when you have an object in uh, Orca Slicer you made, and uh, in this case I'm going to tell you about two ways. One is if you have an open circle hole, you want to minimize support, and the other one is if you have an internal uh, space where you want to remove supports. Um, in this case, uh, you have some holes. You can see here I have an object, and you see that it generates supports on the sides, and this can often uh, be unnecessary because this is a very small hole of four millimeters, and the Babu printers are perfectly able to just print a circle without using supports for that. Um, so what you can do is you can go to prepare, and then you can go to the support painting tool. You can go into the uh, support painting tool and uh, wait let's me let me flip this first let's flip this I want to have it on the other side like that like this now you can see the uh, the holds better I still see it makes support so you go to prepare and then you go to mark the object and you go to the paint tool now inside of uh, the hole here you will have what's called an overhang and that is defaulting at 10 and this basically sh indicates where there would be a need for uh, support um, if you hold your mouse over here you can see it says left mouse button at force support and right mouse and mouse button block support and if you set this value to maybe 5 and then you set to fill Actually, you have to set the fill, small fill angle to 5, like this. Now you can just move your mouse over the two areas. Now, if you mark only this and this with the block support feature, and we slice the plate, you can see that it still put a support in the middle. And that is that sometimes you get a round hole, but sometimes you have to mark three lines. So in this case, let's go back to prepare and support painting and if I select this one and slice it there is no longer a support and if I go back to prepare and erase shift left mouse button like that and I try the other side erase slice plate it's gone so in this case I need to select at least three lines for it to not build a support there. Uh, in some cases, uh, you can maybe reinforce it. Let's see if I go in there and select middle. So let's play it. Now you see it creates a support. And if you don't want it to. Uh, Actually, it it's set the on build plate only is off. So normally it shouldn't put that, but it's the way that the holes are generated. You would need support for it. But let's go back. And then shift left, remove it, and just put it to no support. I'll just put four of them, so we are making sure. Okay, slice plate. It's no support. Now you can just go in and you can do that on all the others. Uh, they could have had a better color for uh, that uh, uh, overhang thingy. I don't know if you can configure that somewhere, but it's probably possible. There. And there. Okay. Think that was it. Let's slice it and see. So there you have it. Now it will print these holes looking nice and smooth and it will not require supports for them. Now 
the other thing I wanted to show you is the reason I started uh, fiddling with this is uh, inside, if, if I can show you the model in Fusion, it looks like this. Inside, uh, let me see, there. And the main here, opacity 70. You can see that inside here, I have some holes. These are spacers where I want to put magnets inside to hold this together. Uh, so basically I will get to the bottom of this when it prints, then I will pause the print, I will put in the magnets and then it will print over the magnets and encapsulate the magnets inside the print. But as a standard um, setting, uh, it will be a pure overhang. So how do I remove the um, the, the, the supports inside those holes. Now, uh, inside the uh, paint tool of supports, you have this section view, and if you if you click this, you can scroll the section that you want to expand. And you also have this view here where you can sort of decide if you want to see the front or the back, but what I found is that the section view will only show you either, I think it's the back side. Uh, so let's see, or is it the front? I think it's the front. So it will basically just show me the, the view from my side towards that end. So if I do this now, I will only see the bottom. I will always only see the bottom. So if I go here and I take, you can use this tool that you have down here to align your box to the size. You can do like this, or uh, I think this is a new feature they implemented. So in effect, I'm just use this is a direct view down towards the object. Then you can like select selection view, and now it takes it from the side. didn't do that before. Well, it's now it's still from the side. And now still from that side. So I still haven't really found out how to make it uh, appear and and do the uh, maybe I need to reselect it and paint it and let me see section view Okay, so it's going from my view and down, okay. So you have to be able to select it properly. Apparently you have to deselect it after you put it to the view you want, like here. Then you have to remove the selection like that. And then you have to reselect it and click the paint tool. And if everything works right now, it should go downwards. And what, what you see is that when you get to the bottom here, it will allow you to use the fill and then you can insert the fill angle to be a bigger like maybe 90 or max and then you can right click inside the spaces uh, but I'm gonna show you something else first. If I go back to uh, preview here and show you what happens. You slice this in this direction and you get down to where you have the holes in the slicer and because you have nothing that blocks any kind of support inside you can see that it is 
generating the supports inside the holes, basically making it impossible for me to put any magnets inside these holes. So that is my ultimate goal now. So I'll just leave it in slice. Like that. And you will basically see where there are supports when we when we complete the task. Okay, so um, mark it first, center it where you want it. In this case, I just want to do this side, and then you click support. And when you then select section view here, it should go from the top and down towards the holes. And what I'm actually seeing now is the bottom of the holes. So I'll, I'll right click on the bottom of all the holes. But maybe I later want to print uh, it the other way, so I'll do the bot other side as well. So uh, we're happy with that painting. We'll uh, deselect it and then we'll go mark it and we'll click on this and we'll flip it to the other side and then we'll go back and mark it make sure it's center and I'll mark it again and go to the paint tool and now when you go down with the section view tool you can see the top side because you flipped it on the board itself and then you can right click I'll just do the outer edges now and you will see that we we'll still have one here that has a support <coughs> so when I now slice it you will see get this space oh, I didn't notice so apparently either the top or the bottom will work as a block you don't need to block both sides because as you can see now see now here uh, it's not blocking anything let's try that just to verify that I'll uh, support paint, erase all paintings. Okay, I will slice it. You can see the 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 the, the fields. They have supports in there. Okay, and let's see. I want to I want to just see this side, and I want to mark it. I want to paint it. And I go into section view. You see, I don't want to paint those. Okay. Now that that is now I actually marked the bottom of those holes that you saw earlier. So if I go in now and do a flip, those should actually be on top. And if I now slice it, let me see. Voila! So the conclusion is then that you either need to sli uh, block the bottom or the top to prevent uh, supports inside an object like this. And when you do that, you can uh, easily go and print a model like this. And then when you get to, let's say, let's say you, you get to, uh, this is the last layer of the hole itself. So then I can put a right click here and you can add a pause on that 
layer height. Go to layer. Oh, uh, right click, and just you can add a pause to that layer, and then you can put in your magnet in the holes, and then you can resume your print, and then it will print over those magnets. The result is that you can you do, do that for both the top and the part piece that you want to put together and the magnets will hold together. Okay, that was a little bit longer than I uh, expected but uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching again and uh, see you in the next one and please remember to like and subscribe if you like my videos.